Today is International Friendship Day, and according to Psych Central, almost half of people have only three or less close friends. Many say they used to have more, but some of their friendships fell out. So how do you get those friends back? That's what Blanca Cobb, who has a master's degree in psychology, and I are talking about. First off, Blanca, how do you approach them out of the blue to rekindle a friendship? You can reach out to an old friend on social media, telephone call, text, email, but when you get in touch with them, you want to tell them why you're reaching out, particularly if there's been a long time. People might have a question like, why now? So tell them, say, hey, I miss you. I've been thinking about you. Something came up, made me thinking about you, made me think about the old times, and I just wanted to reconnect. Let them know. What if there was some kind of awkwardness when you first stopped talking? How do you handle that? you definitely want to mention it. Because if you don't mention the awkwardness, then they might start thinking about what your motive really is. So if you can put it out there and say, hey, look, you know, I know the last time we talked, we just kind of didn't end on good terms and I'm happy to move past that now, or I'm happy to address it so we can figure out what happened and move forward. Do you have a preference? Put the ball in their court if you don't have a preference. If you do, you could say something like, hey, I know when we didn't, when we stopped talking, it was, it was weird and I want to tell you what happened or what was going on for me. You can just explain it, but you definitely want to address it. Sounds like you just need to be transparent and open, as you would with any friend, right? Absolutely. Uh, what are the next steps to make sure that you don't fall out again once you have that relationship going? Whatever it is you agreed to or whatever it is that you talked about, what the previous issues are, you have to make sure that you don't make them again. Because if you do, then you, then you lose credibility. They lose trust because they're thinking like, well, here we go again. We just had this conversation <laughs> and, and then you can't move forward. So again, whatever you've agreed to or you've agreed that you're just going to drop it, just make sure it doesn't come up again because then they'll know that you're there with them in this friendship for the right reasons. Well, thank you so much, Blanca. I am proud to call you my friend. <laughs> and I'm proud to call you mine too, Ben. It's been many years of a great friendship. You can continue the conversation with Blanca on her Facebook page, Blanca Cobb, Body Language Experts.